Ooh. Is this like all the choices I made so far? Well, no, not choices, but all the stuff I've been through so far. Alright, I'm Crypto Leo and welcome back to AI Disomnium file. To be honest, uh, I stopped the last video because I had to use the bathroom, started to get the uh, bubble guts towards the maybe 40 minutes into the video, so yeah. I was just trying to find a spot to turn the video off. Of. Hey, what's this? I can't look at that. Alright. I want to see if I can like, actually like find some stuff. Not now, but like... I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to deserve more. Alright, let's wait. Yeah, let's talk to her now. Have you picked up Renju yet? He's at a police station nearby being interviewed. He's not a suspect yet, just standard procedure stuff. I wonder what Renju was doing last night. I did call him a few times. He didn't answer. He didn't? No. The local police tried his phone too, but they got the same result. No one was able to get a hold of him until this morning. We explained the situation to him. Had him verify Shoko's corpse. And naturally started asking him questions. I'm about to leave now. Oh. Do we ever identify who called it in? The person who reported the screaming? Right. Unfortunately, not yet. What's the holdup? They didn't identify themselves over the phone. But you should have a location by now. All we know is that it was a payphone. Oh, uh, payphone? That's odd. Especially since most of them don't exist. Uh, since most of them don't exist anymore. It is unusual. Whoever it was clearly didn't want us knowing their identity. It may have even been the killer. Uh, I thought they said someone called in panic or something like that. Hey, that is the big guy. So this is something that, um, I either always did or... Hello! No, not hello! I told you not to just pop out of nowhere like that! I do not understand your concern. Boss knows me by now. Well, still. But it's kinda of creepy when you see someone I pop out. Ooh! Alright, um, look at him, or her. My left eye is Ida, she sees things differently than I do. Wait, wait, wait. I die. Here we go. Mo oh, Ida. Hey boss. Is it possible to do something about her personality? Don't ask me, I didn't create her. Get Pewter to tinker with her. Wasn't the AI ball your idea though? Yeah, but I didn't choose her personality or the way she talks. You can thank Pewter for that. Don't have to go on about those.
I haven't been getting a lot of exercise lately. You're joking, right? It's been five years since we first met. One day I got called into the control room and Pewter, the engineer, showed it to me. Black pack? Oh. The official title is AI Ball. You may call her Iva. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. An autonomous artificial intelligence birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadjet System. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. Iba's been living in my head ever since. She's gathered info and runs analysis. She can also access wireless networks and hack into other computers. Well, she's in my eye socket. We communicate through an artificial nerve in my brain. Well, to my brain. It lets us talk without actually speaking. I already said why you come out, right? Okay, really now. What's the real reason you came out? There is something I need to report to the boss. Oh. To me? Correct. I could have had the message relayed through Date, but that would have been less efficient. I concluded that it was better to have the both of you hear this together. Aren't you wasting a lot of time explaining this? Please listen quietly. I have determined who reported the crime. Oh. Huh? Probably hacked the phones, probably, or... Yeah, I guess. You have? Spit it out. I found the payphone that the caller used. It was near the location of the crime, Bloom Park. Thus, I decided to check the surveillance footage of any security cameras operating nearby. So you found a way into that database? That is correct. That area has little foot traffic, even less at night. The time of the report was around 9 p.m. Cameras only caught one person in the area around that time. I analyzed the footage and was able to obtain a facial recognition match. They were registered as a person of interest in the police database. Oh my god, who was it? Like, uh, I don't know. Matsushita Ota, 24 years old, male. I would have guessed like probably like 13 or 14. I have marked his address on the map. That is all. Does As a Pokemon trainer or something. Way ahead of you, boss. Let's go, Iba. Affirmative. Okay. When you are able to visit a new destination, the map will appear in the bottom right of the screen. Open up the map and pick a destination. You can always check the tutorial by... okay. So that is so you to jump back in? Aren't I? I receive that compliment frequently. Like a... Your attitude isn't though. Like a hamster. So, am I cute or not cute? I was joking. Oh. I don't understand your joke. Can you explain what's funny about it? Nope, not cute at all. Alright. Guess we're done. Whoa, talking, yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay, oh, for a hello. moment. Oh. 
for a moment to do like a uh, art school or something like that. I'm sorry, we aren't open yet. Or class. Oh, I'm not a customer. I'm here for something else. I'm with the MPD. I flashed my badge. Oh, heavens no! I is my boy... I is Ota in trouble? Calm down, ma'am. I'm just here to ask some questions. She hurried out of the kitchen. And you're Ota's... I'm gonna say... Grandmother. His mother. Oh, okay, no. And your name, ma'am? Mayumi Matsushita. Miss Matsushita, before we talk, could I make a request? Mm hmm Could you put that knife down, please? I didn't even notice that. Oh, goodness. Sorry, sorry. I look at the knife. There's a kitchen knife on the table. Something is engraved on the handle. What do it say? A kitchen knife with a floral pattern. And there's something written on the handle. Mom, I love you always. Okay, so you probably got it, uh, gave it to her as a gift. Ota gave me that knife for Mother's Day when he was in elementary school. Wait, how? Or... Yeah. He knows how much I love flowery designs. Oh, I'm just thinking of like a kid giving their mother a knife. As a gift. I've used it every single day since he gave it to me. Oh, it's more than just a kitchen knife. It means the world to me. Think with a large jellyfish. Sure, it's a large jellyfish in the middle of this restaurant here. Is she uh, missed the place closed or something? Yeah, let's question her. Where's your husband? I think he went to buy some ingredients. Comes and goes all the time without telling me. This is nothing new. Mm. Oh, it's just a little diner. But not to toot my own horn or anything. We do get quite a lot of customers here. Okay, it might be closed now. I manage it with my husband, but it can get pretty hectic during lunchtime. Peculiar. What? This establishment is near the Kawasaki district that's been off limits for eight years. That could mean. Never mind. Huh? Oh, about 30 years now. We had to borrow a lot of money to get started, but. Back then, everyone was willing to lend you money. Hmm. That boy, he's been hanging out at this office building lately. What kind of office? Oh, what was it? It's a place where Irresponsible young men hang out. Nonconformists and the like. What, like gangsters? Oh, heavens no, nothing like that. Ota wouldn't go to a place like that. Then... Oh, I remember. It's a production office, an entertainment company. Well, what's the name of the company? Um, what was it? I'm sorry, my memory's been so spotty lately. Uh, 
I decided to ask her about Shoko, just in case. I bought out the picture of Shoko and showed it to Mayumi. Does this woman look familiar to you? No, I don't recognize her. Who is she? No one. Don't worry about it. Because there's a goddess there. A what? Ota says it all the time. A goddess. More like a witch, if you ask me. A witch, huh? Yes! A witch put a spell on my poor Ota. Makes him spend all his money on her. You see that box over there? Oh, right there. The one on the table? Yes. Just look. You'll see what I mean. Hey, first let me look at her. Ota's mother, Mayumi. Oh, good, I see. Alright. Do you want to see? It was delivered a little while ago. Any idea what's inside it? It's bound to be merchandise from that horrible succubus. She forces Oda to buy them. I, I know wonder. it. Because it's a collection to this game. The collector's edition or... I guess, yeah, I guess you could say that. It comes with a statue of a girl from this game. So I wonder if that's it. Go use the little x-ray on it. It's a cardboard box. There's a... Mm, there's a delivery slip attached to it. Wait, oh, I used the left stick to... okay. The sender is Great Grin. A popular online store. The product description reads, Solid Model. A... Azamon? Hmm. Why'd I open it? We should look inside. Oh. Use the x-ray mode. How do I do that? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that is it. That's the statue you get if you pre-order the game. Well, not pre-order the game. Uh, get the collector's now, edition or what is this? Yeah. A solid PVC model of a person, known as a figure. Something's written on the base. The letters appear to be some kind of metal. The permeability of X-ray vision should make them legible. A set. Allow me to investigate. A moment, please. Now what? So, is this witch working there? Yes, that good-for-nothing temptress works for that entertainment group. She's an idol. Do you know her name? Uh, I'm assuming it's not Witch. Her name? Um, I don't remember. I just call her the Witch. All right, we're getting nowhere. She doesn't remember the talent or the company. Even I am at a loss. Yeah. I feel like this is more like small talk, but like the weather, about the weather. The rain last night was pretty bad, wasn't it? The rain? Oh, right, yes. Yeah. Call him? Yes, does he have a cell phone? A cell phone? Why would he need a cell phone if we have a phone at the house? He doesn't have one? He better not. Waste of money. You can abandon this line of questioning, Date. Ota does have a phone. I found his number. Ooh. Call it. I have already attempted to call multiple times. Sorry, did or something. The, the phone, it is. There is no connection. Either the phone is off, or he has no reception. Let's hope he's not face down in a gutter somewhere. 
That would be unsanitary, as well as a violation of waste disposal codes. Date, I've found some information about the figure. Aset is the name of a popular female musician. That sounds like our witch. Is Aset a group name? No, it is a single artist. An Aset figure, huh? Correct. What's the name of her talent agency? Lemnisgate. Sorry, what? I repeat, Lemnisgate. Renju owns that company. Huh. Correct. Uh, excuse me. So I guess we got to talk to him next. Does the name Lemnisgate ring a bell? Oh, yes! That's where Ota goes. Iba, bring the car around. Well, I think we were supposed to talk to him anyway, so yeah. At once. She mentioned the box. A box, I mean. How does it? I guess we got everything now. A lucky cat statue. What the hell? Are you unfamiliar with the superstition? Imitating a cat's meow to a lucky cat statue grants that person happiness and luck. I didn't know that. That is, that is real, yeah. Is that right? Alright, let's go. Also, that's what I forgot to say. So, in the last video, when he was about to shoot the doorknob or... No, the, the hatchet the merry go round. When the gun extended, it reminded me... Yeah, it reminded me of that, um... What is it? Anime Psychopaths? You know, with the denominator. I like that anime. That's him? Correct. Are you Ota Matsushita? Who are you? I showed him my badge. I'm from the MPD. The police? Monitor. Promotional videos of the agency's talent are playing. Nothing dirty though. This isn't that kind of company. There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting behind the desk. Ah, the desk. I think we're good. Oto won't even look in my direction. He's just typing away on his laptop. Hmm. Nothing. Could you stop bothering me, please? Could you look at me? No. I'm kind of busy right now. How did you know that? Because I'm psychic. Excuse me? Hey. Last night? Don't play dumb, kid. Yesterday, 9 p.m., you called the police from a payphone. You told them about screaming you heard coming from Bloom Park. I have no idea what you're talking about. Do we need to uh, back it up? All right, Ota, look. We either do this here, or I take you down to the station. Do you have a warrant? Article 2.3 of the Execution of Law Enforcement Code, unless initiated by legal process, no person shall be detained or obligated to answer any questions without explicit consent. This is the type of kid I hate the most. Oh. Well, it is my only option. 
Date, wait. Uh. Causing a disturbance in public will result in disciplinary action. So we take him outside. I will bet. And what should I do? I have an idea. Give me a moment. Gonna act into his laptop or something? I told you to wait. Waiting's just pissing me off more. Perhaps your dosage needs to be increased. Wait, what? What? Listen to me, Date. Ota's PC is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. And? I was curious, so I hacked into it. Um... Does Tessa refer to ASET? Trying to read some of this stuff. Two Witcher? Two Witcher? Wow. That is a popular fan nickname for her. That means Mato has to be Ota. I mean, it has his picture right there. Correct. However, it appears that Ota is the one operating the other three accounts as well. Oh. What? Optical Protein Fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all Ota's sub-accounts. Ota is insulting Aset and defending her all by himself. What for what? This is what's known as a straw man sock puppet or false flagging. This kid is pathetic. Like a K-pop fan. Hey kid. Hey kid. What do you want? I'm gonna tell Aset. Tell her what? That you're sock puppeting for her on two witter. Uh, 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 what are you talking about? I mean, but what would that do? Like, I, I don't know. You should drop the attitude. You shouldn't make those kinds of accusations. Do you want to get sued for defamation? Optical protein fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all your sub accounts. What? How do you know that? I told you, kid. I'm psychic. Now, I have some questions for you. <sighs> Fine. Oh, Hey. Um... When do you start with the fake accounts? Not only were you faking the whole thing, you made sure to add her so she'd see it. Oh, so I guess so that she could see that he's defending her, and I guess he would think that would make her like her. I mean, uh, he would think that would make her like him. Right? I guess. But if she doesn't see it, she won't know that I'm protecting her. Don't you think all those comments hurt her feelings, even if you defend her? But in the end, I made it so everyone became her fans and got along and. That's not the point. <sighs> I'm sorry. Just don't do it again, okay? About last night. Oh, wait, wait. Chris, yeah, why are you here? I'm waiting for Tessa to come out. This is an office building, not a concert hall. This is the main facility of Lemniscate Entertainment's production branch. There are multiple studios for recording and broadcasting in this building. Tessa is recording a podcast today. Ota, age 24, kind of a loser. About last night. I'm gonna ask you again. Were you the one who reported the screaming at Bloom Park around 9? Y yes why were you in the area? I, um... You better tell me, or I'll tell everyone about your little imaginary enemies. Hey, 
everyone. Uh, this guy... Okay, okay, I'll talk, just... I thought I was going to say something different. About last night. I went to Bloom Park because I was supposed to meet someone. Did you enter the park? Yes. So who were you meeting? A girl named Mizuki Okiyura. Oh. I thought it would have been the one in the middle of the carousel. What did you say? Oh wait, yeah, it is her. Yeah, I thought Mizuki was um the other one, the dad. Mizuki Okiyura? She's the daughter of the president of Lemniscate. Do you know her? Yeah, I know her. How do you know Mizuki? She's just a friend. Yeah, she better be. But I see what like. E? Puppy, yeah. What? Why do you care? Where and how did you two meet? Um, here, the Lemniscate lobby. Mizuki is friends with Tessa. I was talking to Tessa one day and she just comes up like, hey. When was this? Last September. So, I guess the relationship has lasted over a year now. Don't call it a relationship. Well, what am I supposed to call it? Uh, friendship, I guess? How do you know Mizuki? Anyway, I have her look over my work sometimes. Work? I write light novels. The. Why would he want her to read it? Really? What's your pen name? Odoin Kyoma. That is a lie. Database searches reveal no professional authors have ever submitted work under that name. So... He's not really... Well, yeah, he's just not an author. But he writes stuff. Hey, Ota. How about you stop lying to me? My third eye can see through your bullshit. It might be just something he posts on his... I... What, Twitter? But... Yeah. Uh, well, I'm not a published author. Yeah. I'm an aspiring author, to be exact. So, anyway, Mizuki reads my novels. I get notes and advice from her. From a sixth grader? She's surprisingly insightful. She has the talent to be an editor for sure. Can you provide a detailed account of last night? Around 8.10 last night, I got a call from Mizuki saying she wanted to meet me at Bloom Park. She sounded scared. You know how that area is run down and abandoned? I think she wanted me to go with her as protection. But why Bloom Park? Someone messaged her on Nile. Nile is a popular messaging application for smartphones and PCs. What did they say? She didn't tell me exactly, but it said to come to the merry-go-round at Bloom Park tonight. Who sent it? I don't know. But Mizuki was determined to go. Trying to see. Hmm. I don't know. What happened next? I met up with Mizuki and we went into the park. Okay, at first I would say it could have been the mother, maybe? <laughs> oh, he found her dead. <laughs> okay, so most likely the killer did it, yeah. Did you leave her there? Did you leave her there? You left a 12-year-old girl by herself? Oh, 12. I thought she was... Wait, I guess yeah, you wouldn't be 8 in 6th grade, yeah. I didn't mean to! I was panicking! 
people do stupid things when they're in fight or flight mode. Like when people grab their pillow and run out of their house in a fire. Jeez, you're a real hero, kid. I mean, but the killer was nowhere to be found, right? So you just ran away from a dead body. See, I knew you would make fun of me. This is why I didn't want to tell you. Is that why you didn't identify yourself on the phone? You seriously didn't think we'd find you? Mizuki would have told us everything. I didn't think she would. Why wouldn't she? Or you thought she would have been dead or something? She said that if she ever got caught going out at night with someone like me, her roommate would kill her. Oh. Good girl. Why do you use the payphone? I tried using my cell phone at first. But my heart was pounding, and I was scared, and my hand was shaking. And with the rain last night, it kind of slipped out of my hand. Oh, so it's from this probably bro. You dropped it? Yeah, right into a puddle. Iba, can you trace the last signal that Oates' phone sent out? Near Bloom Park, just past 9 p.m. The phone has not been turned on since. I guess he's telling the truth. What are you doing? Tessa! And you are? Mr. Dante from the MPD. He came here to ask me about what happened last night. You mean, a detective? Wow! I've never met a real detective before! Date, your adrenaline level is rising. Is something the matter? No. Nothing. Um. Wait, we'll probably look at him now. Shoot, wait. Okay, Ultra's gazing at ASAP. Oh. Alright. Something wrong. Hmm. Your friends with Mizuki? Mizuki Okiura? Yeah, I am! Mr. Okiura runs the agency, and Mizuki is his daughter, so. Yeah, I could see that. We hang out sometimes. Is that how you became friends? There's more to it than that, but basically. Mizuki and I live under the same roof, but she doesn't tell me about her personal life. She doesn't tell me much of anything, come to think of it. I'm totally in the dark. So, Mizuki must come here to hang out sometimes. Let me confirm something. You're Aset, right? <laughs> Let's play a game! Shadows! Um, Thread? Silhouette? Aset! What? Fears! Uh... Upset? Regret? Aset! Water! Wet sweat? Aset! <laughs> Yay! Aset, you bet! The magnetic currents in the atmosphere are clearly causing aberrant behavior. We should leave. At once. I turned 18 this year. A senior in high school? Yep. Date, I recommend you keep your hands to yourself. Don't worry. I'm not gonna make a move. What? Oh, I meant Ota. Wait, you were gonna make a move on me? Uh, oh, didn't mean to do that. 
What's your relationship with Ota? Relationship? Three, so he's... 26, I think they say. Her like a goddess in a summon thrall. Her thrall? If Tessa ever gets in trouble, I swoop in and protect her. <laughs> you sound more like a superhero than a thrall. Ota always defends me when I'm getting bashed online. Stop! You're making me blush! This guy... I wonder if we could tell her. Nope. Oh. Hmm. Oh, an album? Oh, so that's just... Uh, ooh. Nice. Wait. That's nice. Oh, things can be updated. I don't know what updated over here. Probably the overall overview. Mizuki. Studies martial arts, enjoys emotionally attacking Dante. Enjoy songwriting. Lying, cheating. Dislike someone who hurts. No, dislike someone who hurt her in the past. Ota, Net Idols, May Cafes. Not surprised by that. Wait, what? Oh, light novel author. I uh, author, self declared. His mother. And that's it. Oh. No, we already seen this. Yeah, alright. Yeah. Hey, let me tell you something. It's about those posts on Two Winner. Wait! Huh. Looks like you're my thrall now. Isn't that right, Ota? Yeah, just be cool. You aren't even blinking. Alright. I'm showing a picture of her mother. You know who this is, right? Yeah, it's the woman I saw at Bloom Park. Oh, he probably doesn't know that it's her mother. Her name is Shoko Nadami. I saw it on the news. Wait. Do you not know who her daughter is? She has a daughter? I didn't know that either. They must be unaware that Shoko is Mizuki's mother. I thought uh, Mizuki would have at least told um, Aesad about it, also named Tessa, I think, the, the idol. Maybe because her last name is different. Nadami and Okiura. Also, not yet been reported that Shoko is Renju's ex wife. All right. How about Asa? Gee, Tessa, you always look so cute. So, so cute. So cute that I can't take it. Don't you think so, too, Date? You're awfully familiar with her. I can't help it. Her loving aura is in the air. When I'm with her, I just... My head gets all light, and I just relax and don't sweat the small stuff, you know? Do you talk to her about last night? Oh, um... I heard about it. Did he tell you the part about when he ran away? About Ocha seeing that corpse at Bloom Park? He told me. 
Tessa! Why didn't you come to the police? Such a shocking story would certainly pique the young woman's interest. It is possible Ota wanted her attention. He told her about a dead body he found for attention? That sounds familiar. Actually, I already knew about it before Ota told me. Wait, what? It's all over the internet. So maybe the serial killer or killer posted it online? When I saw Ota this morning, I asked him about it. Oh, okay, maybe she just saw the uh, the report about it after. I mean, before he told her. He yeah. told me he saw the body. Hey. Right. Um. We're leaving. Wait, wait, wait. Come on, I'm shy. You're embarrassing me. Oh, are you? Are you a fan of mine? Okay, now I'm getting a little creeped out. You can stop staring now. We did like a achievement for this? I should stop staring at her. She'll think I'm crazy. Yeah, we're leaving. Date, I have determined that these two have no further information for us. Our goal is to find the murderer of Shoko Nodami. Let us continue. Right. Let's head back to the crime scene. Hmm? See you kids later. Um, where are you going? Back to where the corpse was found. In that case, I'll go with you. I don't think it could work like that. You'll what? Please take me with you. Why? Because I want to know more about what happened. Do you have any suspects? Probably some crazy murderer, right? That's what Oto is telling me. The corpse was strung up on that merry-go-round. It must have been some kind of twisted message. Ota, take a video! Huh? Just do it! Mr. Date! What? I can't imagine life without you. Can we just what hack the doing? phone to delete it? Ota, did you get it? Oh, uh, yeah. Hmm. Guessing. Okay, wait. What are you doing? Mr. Date, you are a member of the MPD, aren't you? A public servant? I wonder, what would happen if this little video happened to go viral? You wouldn't. And just so you know, taking my phone away won't help. It's already in the cloud. What's the end we can hack it? You little... A thing. Something wrong? Oh, he's oh, jealous. not at all. I'm just imagining your body sinking into Tokyo Bay. Huh. <laughs> I'm used to sinking. Part of the job. Huh? Ultra's Ultra is string daggers at me. I guess we had to bring her now. Asa has a rather inappropriate smile on her face, given the circumstances. I told you. I want you to take me to the scene of the crime. If you do, I promise I'll delete the video. Date, a thought has occurred to me. 
She really is quite the seductress. Hmm. Guess we gotta leave. Box of magazines in the rack. I mean, in that rack. Let's see how to take a girl home in just two minutes. Yeah. Pick up artists. I think I'll take a look at that. I like zoom in on. Oh, okay, no. I thought that's what he's gonna do. Vending machine. Hey! Let's go back to the crime scene and get. Might end it all there, maybe. Should have saved too. Ooh, could I? Oh, I was hoping I could steer. So she's. I'm staring at her with the AI thing. So it's like, why well, be looking cross-eyed right now? The glove boss. Hey, you got any guns in here? I bet you do. No, not in there. So you do have a gun. I can't actually look at. Oh wait. About Mizuki. We're good friends. We go to movies and karaoke and go shopping together. She's really good at listening to me bitch and moan about my problems. I'm so much older than her, but it really doesn't even feel like it. Why do you become our idol? Well, I guess it was because. I've always wanted to be famous, you know? I want to be famous. Get on TV. Be a household name. But you're not there yet. It's all right. Internet stars do better if they don't sell out. Internet star? Ota didn't tell you? I'm most famous on the internet. I do songs and dances and play video games and stuff on stream. Have you heard of Shovel Forge? Shovel Forge is a game in which you manipulate cubes on the terrain to build structures. Am I? I've been focusing a lot on that game lately. What about being on TV? I'm not very popular yet. I can only get on TV as a background singer or something. I don't get many gigs either. Um, Mr. Date, shouldn't you keep your eyes on the road? Don't worry about it. I'm a professional. Do you have any questions for me? Questions. Questions. Ah, what's it like being a detective? Wouldn't know much about that. I'm not a detective. Mm -hmm. But you are a cop, right? Right. But I'm not on the crimes unit. Then what unit are you in? What indeed? You aren't gonna tell me? Please! What are you doing? Just thinking about posting that video. Whoa, hold up now. Well then, tell me! About Ota. Why do you ask? You two are very close, for an idol and a fan. Ota is... special. He really is like... a hero to me. Hero, huh? First, all I did was stream from home. And then, not to sound cocky, but I started getting pretty big. I started getting offers from agencies. And one of them was Lemniscate? Well, not exactly. Huh? My mom's actually an old friend of the president of the agency. A friend of Renju's? Yeah. So I asked him for advice one day. You know, you have to be careful. Even a place that looks legitimate with an office and everything can be sketchy. And my mom and I didn't know anything about the industry at all. But 
Anyway, one day Mr. Okiura said to come see him at his office, and he hooked me up. About that video. You know, now that I think about it, wouldn't you get in trouble for that video too? Oh yeah, because idols aren't supposed to um, what, be public with their relationships or something like that. What? The video. You're an idol, right? You have a status to maintain. If that video went viral, I think you'd be in trouble too. It's okay. Uh, it is? Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. Oh. What? I can see into the future. I know when I'm going to die. Um. <laughs> Just kidding! I hope so. Anyway, I'm not going down without a fight. Hmm. So I will release that video if you don't cooperate. How about my department? I'm part of a special investigation unit known as Abyss. Date! I don't have a choice. What's Abyss? Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. The public doesn't know about it. I mean, now they do. Well... Yeah. Wow, cool! Well, just her, yeah. Don't tell anyone. I promise I won't. I swear to the Egyptian goddess Isis. Uh... Ask, um, ask for a real name? By the way, I didn't catch your name. You really want to know? It's Tessa, right? It's okay if you don't want to tell me. Iris! Wait, so why... Why do, um... I forgot his name, what, Ota? Why do he call her Tessa? Or is that her... Stage name? Yeah. Iris Sagan. I know, weird, right? know her probably well yeah I'm gonna say yeah we do yeah. no it's nothing childhood friend prop I know cuz she's 18 isn't like Dante 30 so I don't know or they got Dante's brain from like a like probably Dante died and then they put his brain in a different body maybe? You know like a 30 year old body? I don't know. I'm not sure. Excuse me. You Konami Date. Yeah like what if his hair was the one from the flashback from the last video I po uh, posted. Um, The one with the brown hair. Maybe. I don't know. That's right. And the girl? She's an important witness for this case. Yep, yep. We've got business here. Oh, uh, okay. Irish couldn't hold back her excitement and rushed onto the scene. Hey. Alright, so we're gonna leave it off here. It seems like it's more to this idol than it seems, maybe. Cause it didn't seem like she was playing what she said, um knowing about her dying, maybe. Or well, probably not like 
as far as her knowing the future or something like that, but maybe the killer could have contacted her or something like that. But yeah, um, until next time, I've been Cryptic Leo, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.